Welcome back to another episode of Misplaced Garage. <laughs> Here's some Monday shenanigans for you guys. I picked up this bike a while ago, runs good, rides good, just a little crusty, you know. So this, that's a bike for my girlfriend. That's not my bike. I mean, it's in my name, but it's not really my bike. I let her deal with it as much as I can. I mean, obviously I fix it and make it rideable, but I sold my gold bike, if you guys saw that, that I had a little while ago to a good friend and he, uses that bike now. I didn't want a bike that I would thrash really hard and then be real angry that I broke it or something because that bike was way too nice. So I picked up this bike. So you might be wondering, why do I have it leaned up against a garage? And that is because the kickstand weld has failed. So that's one thing that I absolutely have to fix pretty quickly. It does not run, not at all. It has excellent compression. Thing is, it's pretty dang hard to push down and it's not because of rust, it's because the compression is actually really nice and smooth and it goes down and comes back up with no problem. I was little aware that it has no spark. So we'll see if that is true or not. The carburetor is over here in this box. Uh, you bought a new battery for it. Don't really, don't really need a battery to run these bikes, so that wasn't required for him to buy. But you bought a little battery charger and all sorts of random nonsense in these boxes. But I'm gonna see if I can get it running here real quick. All of this blue oil down here tells me that it's got a good sign of running. The case is extremely clean, so that tells me that somebody's been in here, obviously, and cleaned up a little bit. But the blue oil is definitely two-stroke oil, so that is a good sign for me. Hopefully this piston isn't just destroyed. It doesn't really sound like it because it's got plenty of compression. I'm just trying to figure out where each line goes because there's an extra line in there. I got a new tube put into this tire, so I'm gonna throw it back on and see if I can bump start this thing and get it running. I've had it running for about 30 seconds, but that's pretty much all. I think I'll put a clip in this video. It wasn't very long, but I think a bump start will get it running and then I can clear out all of the uh, carbon that's keeping it from starting and running long term.
Alright guys, well, unfortunately you guys have probably seen me pick this thing over quite a few times. I don't know what all I've videoed for this bike, but I can't seem to get it run consistently. I can't, every, every single time that I've kicked it and it has started to run or at least spark and get some sort of sense of life, it just, it's, it's been at maximum kick capacity, so I'm sure some sort of setting somewhere is wrong. I've never worked on a rotary valve, so I don't understand the whole complexity of that. I'm used to some poor injection from the carburetor. That is basically just the carburetor goes right into the cylinder with no reed valve or nothing. So this bike's a little more complex. And there isn't much information on Kawasaki F7s on the internet. So I ordered a manual, and that won't be coming for a little while. So this bike's gonna be kind of put on the back burner. The manual will hopefully get me along and so that I can get this bike back on the road. Anyways guys, if you wanna see a build on this bike, I kinda wanna turn it into like a scrambler or a tracker and give it a little more menacing of a look. I think that this bike is the perfect motorcycle for me to kinda test out my abilities of customizing a motorcycle. Pretty much every single dirt bike enduro that I've owned has just been pretty much stock and I haven't messed with it much. That bike has a high compression head on the Yamaha back there but this bike is pretty much stock and it seems like there's quite a few things missing or not functioning order so I want to see if I can make it a little bit cooler without taking away the originality of it. But anyways guys, if you want to see more of this bike, that bike, the Triumph, please comment down below and let me know what videos you like seeing the most. But anyways guys, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.